Hello, welcome to the Strad Library Technology Plan. We are a public library located in Corpus Christi, Texas, and we are proposing a bilingual story time for virtual services. Corpus Christi is a major city in South Texas located directly on the Gulf of Mexico. And according to the U.S. Census Bureau, over half the population, which is about 62.9%, is of Hispanic or Latino descent. And 3296 or just under one-third of the population of Corpus Christi, speaks Spanish. And so virtual story time is a critical opportunity for us to engage our Spanish-speaking siblings in Corpus Christi that the COVID-19 pandemic has only served to further isolate and disconnect from the communities that they inhabit. Strad Public Library values diversity, access, services, confidentiality, intellectual freedom, and sustainability. Diversity. We strive to offer a warm and welcoming place for the community members to gather and to maintain an active engagement in the life of the community. Access. Strad Library ensures ready, equal, and equitable access to library materials to all patrons. Services. By employing a professional, collaborative, creative, and positive staff, we are able to stay focused on library patrons' interests and needs. Confidentiality. At Strad Public Library, we understand the ramifications of breach of privacy, and we have created a system that protects the confidentiality of our library patrons. Intellectual freedom. We champions everyone's right to intellectual freedom regardless of their age. Sustainability. Strad Public Library is committed to providing excellence within our community. This is why we have been and continue to be good stewards of the library's financial and material resources. The persona we kept in mind while developing this project is Dorothea. Dorothea is a Hispanic female between the ages of 55 and 65. She cares for her two grandchildren during the day. Normally, before before COVID-19 closures, she visited the library several times a week with her grandchildren, especially during the interactive children's programs. Dorothea is bilingual. Her native language is Spanish and English is her second language. Her grandchildren are also bilingual, but the family primarily speaks Spanish at home. Her favorite activity is watching her daily telenovelas. Dorothea wants her grandchildren to do well in school. She has lived in this community for over 20 years, and she does not have a lot of help at home because she is a widow. Dorothea wants her grandchildren to hear stories in Spanish and about Hispanic people. Our target audiences for bilingual story time are Spanish-speaking families, families interested in learning the Spanish language, families interested in bilingual programs and services, and native Spanish speakers who have difficulty understanding the English language. Four simple questions. What is right? A global pandemic calls for libraries to reassess how we engage with our communities. Providing new bilingual storytime services will help us engage with the Spanish-speaking community and build a relationship with our patrons. What is wrong? Video lighting and sound quality of storytime, especially on social media applications, can be problematic. Posting videos on social media will not provide the quality of videos we want. Virtual stories might not be as appealing as in-person storytime and live streaming services on social media apps limits the program to one application. What is missing? Story times are not attracting a diverse audience as the stories are usually presented in the English language. The library is missing the live audience while the library is closed to the public. The library is also missing the story time programs presented in multiple languages. What is confused? Currently what is confused is when we would be able to safely reopen the library again. Would it be our responsibility to teach patrons how to stream the videos or use the applications? Would it be our responsibility to provide bilingual storytime services in person? Is it a patron need? Is it worth the investment? And would patrons use the service?
Based on our four simple questions and library values, we concluded that the needs for the Strad Library are new and updated technology to provide quality virtual bilingual story times for the public to participate in while the library is temporarily closed. SWOT Analysis Our strengths at the Strad Library include staff who want to learn new technology and are willing to do so, staff who are driven to assist patrons, bilingual staff who are familiar with the Spanish community, and a Spanish children's collection already established in the library. Our weaknesses are staff who are not well versed with streaming platforms and newer technology, and current technology that is out of date. Our opportunities include asking volunteers to help record bilingual story times, such as videos for the library to stream or audio to play through a recorded telephone line, which will also help increase our patron participation. Another opportunity is grant funding available to keep up with the latest technology. Threats that we are currently facing are temporary closure due to COVID-19, patrons and community members who do not believe the technology is useful or needed, and any funding needed to keep up with the latest technology for virtual bilingual story times. Bilingual story times have a long history of success. In 1921, the New York Public Library implemented such a program with Puerto Rican folktales, both oral and written, outreach programs to Spanish-speaking communities, and reference services for, for Spanish-speaking adults as discussed by Paz. The professional literature supports the use of bilingual story times in public libraries as a way to reach and support communities. According to Van Dyne, the Spanish-speaking population is one of the largest in the United States, and showcasing books and reading stories in both Spanish and English during story time enables librarians to highlight the Spanish language books in their collections and inform attendees about services designed for their communities. Studies show that speaking two languages benefits learning. Bilingual children have larger vocabularies, flexible problem-solving skills, and higher cognitive abilities, as studied by Payne and Raleigh. In addition to the academic and cognitive benefits, Kelly and Bolanos describe the desire of immigrant parents wanting their children to remain connected to their roots and heritage, be able to communicate with family, travel in their home countries, and have strong job prospects due to their bilingualism. SMART is the acronym we will be using as our guide for goal setting. The S is for specific. How specific is our goal? Our goal is a recorded bilingual story time that can be uploaded across the library's social medias and websites. M is for measurable. How will we measure our success? We can track online views and digital engagement to see the success of this program. The A is for actionable. What actions do we need to take to make this program successful? We need technology improvements and staff training on the new technology. R is for relevant. Is this relevant to our community? According to the 2018 Community Survey by the U.S. Census Department, 33% of the community speaks Spanish in their homes, so a bilingual story time is a relevant program to the community of Corpus Christi, Texas. T is for time-bound. When will we get this done? January 2021 is our goal start date. By this time, we will have all of the new technology that we ordered and our staff will have received training and our first bilingual story time production will be uploaded and available for patrons. For this project, we will need a tripod system, a streaming camcorder, a SanDisk 64 gigabyte memory card, an Arco video bag, Dr. Bag 20, a battery for JVC camcorders, a microphone system, dual charger batteries, a three video light KI, Final Cut Pro video editor, a, an external hard drive that holds four terabytes of memory, a 21 and a half inch Apple iMac computer, and a Razzi extra wide green screen. Technology budget. Keep it in line with being good stewards of the library's financial and material resources. We have outlined a budget that focuses on fiscal responsibility, which ensures the sustainability of the services to our patrons and community. The pie chart indicates the allocation of funds by percentages and monetary totals. We have only allocated 4% of our budget towards marketing since we will rely on our current Facebook, YouTube, and other social media platforms. The 4% allocation will be used for advertisement 
and our local newspaper, thrift paper, and a year subscription to Canva Pro. The marketing totals are $194.40. $75 of this total is for advertisement, which includes a three-line ad for 28 days in the classifieds in the local newspaper, four weeks in the local thrifty paper called the Penny Saver, 28 days of digital advertisement on the local newspaper website. The other $119.40 will be used for a one-year Canva Pro account. This account is an online graphic designing tool that will serve to enhance our advertisement to the community. The production total is $299.99, which comprises 6% of the allocated budget. To maintain high quality and excellence, Strad Library will incorporate using a professional video editing tool called Final Cut Pro, which will accelerate our post-production. The bulk of our budget allocation will be used for equipment, as our current equipment is out of date and lacking. The 90% budgeted equipment allocation total is $4,349.25. This new equipment will bring Strad Library into the current technological world that our community communicates within. In the chart, you will see how the equipment cost total is broken down. The streaming camcorder costs $1,699. The video lighting costs $349. The microphone system costs $239. The green screen costs $109.99. The Apple Mac computer costs $1,099.99. The camcorder equipment such as case, batteries, memory card, tripod, and external hard drive cost $952.27. The final total for the technology budget is $4,943.64. For storage, all of the technology will be left in the cabinets in the conference room and anything that is large or bulky will just be set aside when we're not using it. We will be filming in the conference room and anywhere throughout the library as well as community. And we plan on filming for four days and editing and uploading videos for four days as well. Our marketing plan is based on the needs of our target audience during a global pandemic. Our target audience consists of Spanish-speaking families, families interested in learning the Spanish language, families interested in bilingual programs and services, native Spanish speakers who have difficulty understanding the English language, and children of all ages. We will promote the service virtually as the library is closed to the public at this time. We will record the bilingual story time at the library and upload it to YouTube for people to watch at any time and at their convenience. The descriptions for the videos will be written in both English and Spanish. We will upload the pre-recorded videos to Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We will also create flyers on Canva to post on all social media platforms. We plan to write the flyers and social media posts in English and Spanish to promote the bilingual story time. We also plan on promoting the bilingual story time service on the city's website, the library's website, emails and newsletters, and ads. The information we want to include in our promotions are dates of when the videos will be uploaded and how to access the service on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We will start promoting the service three weeks before the Bilingual Storytime program starts. Once the program starts, we will then promote it weekly. When the library reopens to the public, we plan to continue marketing the program in both English and Spanish. We will create flyers on Canva to post throughout the library, especially in the children's area and the circulation desk. We will continue to send out emails and the newsletter discussing how the virtual bilingual story time will be implemented in the library. We will also update the library's website each week with upcoming dates and the YouTube links to the latest story time. We plan on continuing the promotion on social media when the library reopens as well. The budget for marketing is $194.40. We plan on creating an ad in the classified section of the Corpus Christi Caller for $75 a month. The ad includes three lines for 28 days in the Corpus Christi Caller, three lines for four weeks in the Penny Saver, and 28 days of digital ads on caller.com. 
We will also purchase a Canva Pro account for $119.40 billed yearly. Gantt chart. Our Gantt chart shows the estimated amount of time it will take for us to start and complete the virtual bilingual story time service. We plan to purchase the new and improved equipment by November 16, 2020, and project that it will take at least three weeks for shipping and handling. Once we receive the new equipment, we will start testing the new technology by December 7th and begin training staff the same day. We project that testing out the equipment will take at least two weeks. Training the staff to set up the equipment, use the camera, and get comfortable recording themselves while reciting a story will take about 28 days from the time we receive the equipment to the time we want to start recording the videos. We plan to promote the bilingual storytime service three weeks prior to our projected deadline, Therefore, we will start promoting the service as early as December 20th, 2020. By January 4th, 2021, we plan to record the videos, which will take at least four days, depending on the quality and quantity we want to produce. We plan to edit the videos on January 7th and take four days for editing and uploading. We are estimating that the service will be uploaded to YouTube and available to the community by January 11th, 2021. In conclusion, choosing the Strad Library as the recipient of this grant will greatly benefit the community of Corpus Christi. As mentioned earlier in the presentation, we strive to provide equal and equitable access to all of our patrons, and as it stands, we are currently falling short in serving an already underserved population. The addition of bilingual storytime to Strad programming will allow us to sustainably reach not only Spanish-speaking patrons, but also working patrons who are not able to attend storytime in person. With the help of this grant, they will have the ability to watch recorded stories online. Providing this service and the opportunity to engage in early literacy in a culturally meaningful way to our library patrons will benefit our community and strengthen the community ties to the library. Thank you for your consideration and your support.